Welcome to GMAT Math Online Math Prep Videos. In this GMAT Math Online video, we explain how to solve simultaneous linear equations. If there are two or more linear equations with multiple unknowns, then we have simultaneous linear equations. These are multiple linear equations in several variables, and each variable retains its value in each equation. If the number of independent linear equations is the same as the number of variables or unknowns in the equations, then the value of the unknowns can usually be determined. For example, here is a system of two equations in two unknowns. 3x minus 7 equals y plus 4, and 2x plus 6 equals 4y. As you can see, there are two unknowns, x and y. The solution is x equals 5 and y equals 4. We show how to get this solution later in the video. The exception to always being able to solve simultaneous equations is illustrated by the following pair of equations. 3x plus y equals 7 and 9x plus 3y equals 10. If we multiply both sides of the first equation by 3, the two equations become 9x plus 3y equals 21 and 9x plus 3y equals 10. Obviously, 9x plus 3y cannot be equal to both 21 and 10, so there is no solution for x and y that will satisfy both these equations. An interpretation of these equations in coordinate geometry illustrates why there is no solution. If we graph both equations on the coordinate plane, we'll get two parallel lines. They don't have a common solution because the two lines never intersect. We'll use two standard approaches to solving simultaneous linear equations. As an example, we'll use the equations we gave earlier. 3x minus 7 equals y plus 4, and 2x plus 6 equals 4y. Solution method 1 is substitution. In this approach, we first solve one equation for one variable in terms of the other variable. In this case, we'll solve the first equation for y in terms of x. 3x minus 7 equals y plus 4. So 3x minus 7 minus 4 equals y plus 4 minus 4, and 3x minus 11 equals y. Now we substitute 3x minus 11 for y in the other equation and solve for x. 2x plus 6 equals 4y. So 2x plus 6 equals 4 times 3x minus 11. 2x plus 6 equals 12x minus 44. 2x plus 6 plus 44 equals 12x minus 44 plus 44. Therefore 2x plus 50 equals 12x. 2x minus 2x plus 50 equals 12x minus 2x. So 50 equals 10x and 5 equals x. Now we have the value for x, 5. To obtain the value for y, we simply substitute 5 for x in the other equation. 3x minus 11 equals y. So 3 times 5 minus 11 equals y. And 4 equals y. This solution is easily validated by plugging 5 in for x and 4 in for y in the original equations. Here is solution method 2, adding or subtracting equations. In this approach, we quickly eliminate one of the variables by subtracting one equation from the other. Here's how we do it. We start with the two equations. To make them comparable, in this example, we multiply both sides of the first equation by 4, so that both equations have a term equal to 4y. 12x minus 28 equals 4y plus 16, and 2x plus 6 equals 4y. Now we subtract the left side of equation 2 from the left side of equation 1, and the right side of equation 2 from the right side of equation 1. 12x minus 28 equals 4y plus 16 minus 2x plus 6 equals 4y. 
That gives us 10x minus 34 equals 16. This eliminates y. Now we solve the resulting equation for x. 10x minus 34 plus 34 equals 16 plus 34. So that 10x equals 50 and x equals 5. This is the same value we got for x when we used the substitution method. If we now plug 5 in for x in either equation and then solve for y, we get y equals 4, which of course is the same value we got for y using the substitution method. Here are some sample simultaneous equation problems. Problem. Bill and Sherman have $315 together. If Bill spends $27, he will have twice what Sherman has. How much does Sherman have? And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. Let B and S be the amounts Bill and Sherman have respectively. Then B plus S equals 315. Using the additional information, we get a second equation. B minus 27 equals 2S. So B equals 2S plus 27. Substituting this expression for B in the first equation, we get 2s plus 27 plus s equals 315. 3s equals 315 minus 27. So 3s equals 288 and s equals 96. So the correct answer is A. Problem. Seamus loves professional sports. In the past three years, he's attended 180 baseball, basketball, and soccer games four times as many basketball games as soccer games, and 90 more baseball games than basketball games. How many baseball games has he gone to? And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. Let B equal the number of baseball games, K equal the number of basketball games, and S equal the number of soccer games Seamus has gone to in the past three years. We have three unknowns, so we need three equations. Then we have the following relationships. B plus K plus S equals 180. K equals 4S. B equals K plus 90. Thus, B equals 4S plus 90. So B plus K plus S equals 4S plus 90 plus 4S plus S, and that equals 180. 9S equals 180 minus 90, which equals 90. Therefore, S equals 10, K equals 40, and B equals 130. So the correct answer is C. For more practice GMAT problems, see our other videos and go to www.gmatmath.online. And you can get our eBooks, GMAT Math Basics, GMAT Math Problem Solving, and GMAT Math Data Sufficiency. Thanks for your interest.